Welcome to our YouTube channel Easy Tech Support and in today's video we'll learn how to download satellite images. Often sometimes as we know that for analysis this Google Earth engine provides all the necessary tools but for sometimes we need to download our data. In this task we'll be downloading Sentinel 2 images also the Landsat 9 and we will also be downloading the MODIS image. So, these images can be used for various purposes for analysis in different software like maybe in QGIS as well. Well, the QGIS also provides the downloading of the data uh, in itself, but for various other region and for other purpose, this data can be downloaded. So, how to download this data in Google Earth Engine? Okay, so here's my code and I will be providing this in our blog post as well. Uh, so, it's uh, Tech Guru Guides, you can check out there. And let's say, so here we'll be defining that uh, the date range we are interested in. So this will be the start date and this will be the end date. And we can see that we'll be, we are much more interested in, the, in this MODIS data and also the Landsat 9 data and the Sentinel 2 data. Okay, so what this data really represent, we can just simply copy this and paste it here so as to learn much more about what this data really means okay so if i click here this page being displayed here we can learn much more about what this data really means so this is the terra surface reflectance eight day data and of the global coverage 500 meter resolution is available so i can learn much more about this data the various bands available here the resolutions and the description as well similarly i have done this for the sentinel 2 as well okay and also the landsat 9 uh, collections to tire one top of reflectance top of atmosphere reflectance okay so we will be downloading this data so here is the modis image okay as here i have defined the region of interest okay but from this polygon i can simply just drag it around okay to my new location for now this is here okay so this is our polygon, the region of interest, and on the basis of the same, I have uh, I have applied the filter, uh, so, and this filter is bounded to region of interest. And here I am also filtering the date, my region, uh, my date of interest, and I have selected one of the images, the first images out of this range. Okay, and here in this Landsat 9 code, we can see that we are interested uh, in this image collection, and this is the filter bound. I have uh, filtered it to my region of interest and region and also filtered it to the date of interest and I am also going to sort according to the cloud cover okay sort so that uh, I want to sort uh, I want to select the one with the less cloud cover okay and similarly for the sentinel 2 so filtering with uh, to the region of interest filtering to the date of interest and sorting uh, each for the cloud pixel percentage so that I can select the area the images that is having the less cloud cover and in this code i have done the visualization so that i can found whether this line of a code are running smoothly or not so as to check that in the print console also i want to display this in my map panel okay so this is for the modis image i want to clip uh, for the region of interest and these are the bands that i want to display this is representing the red and this is for the green and this is for the blue okay and here are the visualization these are the visualization parameters the bands and this is minimum maximum and i want to give that layer name as modis image okay similarly for the landsat 9 and similarly for sentinel 2 as well okay so this is how i'm going to display this map into the map panel finally our main objective of this tutorial is to download the data so this is how I'm going to download the data. So this code snippet will be downloading my data. Okay, this is uh, done with the export.image.todrive function. Okay, so I can see the details and learn the details in this documentation API. Uh, if I click here, this is the script manager. This is the doc. Uh, this is the docs manager where i can see i can find various api okay so here i can see that export.image.todrive okay so this will be taking these arguments this will be taking the image as i see as you can see here uh, here i have defined the image this will be the modis image okay here i have defined the modis image okay and similarly lands l9 image and s2 image okay i have defined these variables so this will be taking my image and also the description 
that I want to say it as a modis image. And similarly, the folder I want to uh, put my output there. Okay, so it will be the folder in the Google Drive. Okay, and scale. And so this scale is quite important. It's, I, as you can see that the modis resolution is 500 meter. So I am putting this scale as a 500. Okay, and reason is I am particularly interested uh, to download the image coverage for my region of interest, and also I wanted uh, I want to define the coordinate reference system as EPSC 4326. Similarly for the Landsat 9, uh, here you can see that only the scale is different. So Landsat uh, resolution is 30 meter and similarly for the Sentinel 2, the resolution is 10 meter. If I run this code, then you can see that uh, in my console, I can see that this code has been successfully smoothly running and here is my Modis image details and uh, Landsat 9 image details and Sentinel 2 image details. I can find more details about these uh, from uh, by clicking here and here I can see various bands that are available and also I can go through the properties okay so here are the properties and on the basis of the same I can find how much cloudy pixel percentage is available and that sort of information can be found over here okay if I simply just uncheck this region of interest then you can see in the background that my image has been displayed in the map panel Okay, so here I can see this is the Sentinel 2 image on the top and this is the Landsat image on the middle of these two layers and this is the Modis image. So you can see the difference in the pixel. So Modis is 500 meter. It means that if there is a 500 by 500 uh, certain uh, maybe uh, you can say this is for the uh, Kathmandu, you can say the 2D hill. Okay, so if, if the, to, this 2D hill is a large ground then this ground is just represented with one pixel okay if it is of 500 by 500 meter then it is going to be represented by one pixel and say similarly for the landsat 9 uh, let's say it is uh, it is one building with a 30 meter by 30 meter size so that is going to be represented by one pixel and for the sentinel 2 it is uh, the area that is being represented by 10 meter by 10 meter okay so this is how you can uh, find the difference between these three images and after this console you can go to this task okay in this task manager you can find that these are the unsubmitted tasks that I need to initiate to download my Modis image, Landsat image, Sentinel image that has been taken uh, taken for this tutorial okay so I simply have to click here and this is going to run okay so these are some of the details uh, that we already given uh, in our arguments and similarly for the Landsat 9 also I simply have to run okay and for the Sentinel 2 also I simply have to run okay so so I am going to download this to my drive with a folder name GE export okay so this is my drive here so this is my drive GE export okay similarly you can download this data on your own Google Drive okay so these data are being downloaded uh, so uh, uh, I can simply download it from here so uh, finally you can open your QGIS and just import this data okay so this is the Sentinel data Sentinel 2 image and this is the Landsat data and similarly um, this one is the Modis data okay so that's all for this tutorial so in this tutorial we learned how to download our uh, optical images from the Google Earth engine. You can learn similar tutorials in this blog post also uh, for the tech guru guides and also you can like, comment and subscribe to our channel Easy Tech Support. So keep learning.